Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Movie Lover 1998 here, and welcome to a huge DVD and Blu-ray update. I've got 41 DVDs, I think, and um, three Blu-rays. Um, so yeah, I'm still waiting another package to come from Disney as well. But yeah, um, so the first DVD I've got. Um, well, first off, I'll say I watched Panel Works 33, and that was really good. And thank you, James, for sending me that as well, mate. Um, really, really enjoyed it. It was a, it was really scary as well. The ending is a smoke ho oh, fucked up though. So, but yeah, the first DVD. Thanks for watching, so send me that as well, mate. So yeah, the first DVD though is Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow. Not seen this. It's two disc edition. So you know it's gonna be it's pretty good for a quid and a three. There's the whole back inside this disc. It's disc one. This too, but yeah, not bad for a quid. I still not watched it. I've heard it's quite a good um, little film. So yeah, I, I'm not sure when this is set. I think it's like set in the 40s. Um, just the just the way it looks, really. I don't know, but yeah, it looks like okay, a good film. That one. Uh, next one, I love this film. It's Scooby Doo the movie, 50p uh, car boot. Love this film. It's a great, great film. Um, I, I'm not sure which one I like better, this or the second. I did have the second, but I sold it. But yeah, I've, I've been meaning to pick this up on DVD for a while, actually. It's really hard to find. Uh, well, not really hard, but I've, I've never actually had any luck trying to find it. So there's your disc there, and some great artwork on the back. Really, really nice. And it's in good condition as well, so yeah, that's Scooby in the movie. Good film, that one. Sahara, still not watched this one yet. I heard this is a really good film as well. Um, it looks like a good action one. It's only a quid and three actually on trade, so that's pretty good. Disc. But yeah, I've heard that's good. A lot of people said this is a good film, so yeah, I'm glad I picked that one up. Next film is Comedy Genius. I love this, and I totally agree with what it says. Naturally, but I love this film. It's so funny. It is just great. Basically, like he works like um, an orphanage in I think Mexico, and um. Like he wants to become wrestling because he's set, fed up of being a cook and being treated by sh like shit, and um, yeah, he like Jack Black becomes a wrestler and he has like this friend and that, and it's just really really funny and um, yeah, I just love the ending to it. It's great. So yeah, let's open this up. Inside actually, it's kind of weird. There's a love film thing on there. But that's not weird. That's not what's weird about it. That's weird. There's like two disc holders. I mean, like you can put it there or you can put it there. Whatever you want to do, but I don't know why it's got two of them. Kind of weird, but yeah, great, great film. Really do recommend you pick this one up. Really funny. If you haven't seen that, check it out, guys. It's really, really good. Next one, I haven't seen this film in about a year, um, but I do love this film. It's really, really good. Son of Rambo. Basically, these kids like make um, a kid version of Rambo, basically, and it's just a really, really good film. Uh, it's quite a low budget one, um, but yeah, it's a good film. It's a really, really good. I enjoy it a lot, you know. Um, there's your disc inside. But yeah, um, yeah, really, really good film. Really recommend it. So that's Son of Rambo DVD. 50p at Carbo. I used to have it on X Rental DVD, but I sold it on eBay. But yeah, I picked it up again. So yeah, for the collection now. So I've got it again. Next film is the one is the one of the best Disney's ever made. It is a classic. It's the fifth animated classic, and it is Bambi the Two Disc Special Edition. Um, my mate gave me this actually for Kingdom of Heaven. He also gave me four quid as well, which is pretty good because he just loves Kingdom of Heaven. I don't think it was the greatest film, but it's all right, Kingdom of Heaven. But this is a really really good film. It's a total classic, and it's the Two Disc Special Edition. It's not the Diamond Edition. It's one of those. You know, older Disney releases, but it says Disney's fifth animated classic. Yeah, really, really good. It contains mildly distressing scenes. It's very short, 68 minutes. But yeah, you got some extras there. That's what it looks like. Um, that's like the old one. That's the new restoration. So, open this up, and you have two discs inside. Um, yeah, it's disc one. And this too. I really want to get Bambi on Blu-ray, but it's quite expensive. Um, but yeah, five out of five. This film, guys, it's a masterpiece. It's really, really good. It's really gentle, and you know, really, really good film. So yeah, it's 
definitely the film you should watch after watching a horror film. <laughs> yeah, um, like Paranormal Activity or something, but yeah, um, really good film, Bambi. So yeah, next one is The Money Pit, a classic. This is, I love this film, it's so funny. The bit where he's climbing up the stairs and they all just fall apart, I, I, I couldn't stop laughing for ages. It's so funny, that bit. It's your side there. Hold back, and um, there's your disc there. Not the chart. I, I did a review on this actually for the uh, digitally, digitally, digitally blue account. Um, but yeah, really, really good film. Really recommend it. Must pick it up. Really, really funny. Um, basically, like they buy this house and um, it's like worth a million pound, but this woman scams them and like, and uh, basically like they have to fix it up. But yeah, really fun film. Really, really recommend it. Um, and uh, the ending is just classic. <laughs> it's just so funny the ending. Um, so yeah, let's move these along a bit. The next one is Braveheart, Mel Gibson. I'd never seen this before. I got it. Like I've seen bits of it, and yeah, it was really good. And I watched it. It, it is an epic. It is awesome. It's really, really good. It's got one of the most bloody battles in history in this. It's it's just awesome. It's very long, 171 minutes. Um, but a really good film. It's basically about William Wallace. Um, and his wife is killed by English troops, and then um. He wants to fight for his country's freedom, which is obviously Scotland, and it's a it's a true story. Um, apparently, it's not, I don't know because I don't know much about William Wallace or about this, but um, apparently it's not very historically accurate. But it's a really really good film. Um, so yeah, Braveheart. I love that film. Freedom. <laughs> you know, I just love that film. It's so good. So yeah, the next one I haven't actually seen. Um, I didn't know much about this actually before I got it, and it's Children of Men. Uh, it's two this special edition. It's got Clive Owen, Julianne Moore, Michael Caine in this. Um, but yeah, it's a 15 there. There's the side. There's the back. Uh, it contains strong body parts and strong language. Uh, use a description. Loads of extras. You've got Michael Caine in this as well, which is really good. Uh, you've got your feature film on DVD there and the yeah, extras on DVD, which is a PG and a 15 in Ireland. I don't know why, but yeah, if you've seen this one, let me know. I don't know many people that have seen this, but it looks like a good film. Um, not completely sure what it's about, but yeah, I'll give that one a watch. And that was quite cheap. I got that in a five for two quid DVD deal with uh, car boot. So yeah, next one is a Clint Eastwood masterpiece again. He is this, um, this is one of the best boxing films again. And it's just such a good film. It's a really good, really powerful film. And it's Million Dollar Baby. This is great. Um, I had seen this before I got this. I used to have it as well, but I traded it in. I don't know why, but I bought this new and sealed car boot for a quid. So, yeah, that's really good. You know, uh, it contains one use of strong language, modern advanced and mature theme. 127 minutes. You got Clint there. It is the description of the film. Um, inside, you got a leaflet. Yeah. Hilary Swank in this and Morgan Freeman. I think Jay Baruchel was in this. That might, this might have been his film debut actually, I'm not sure. But yeah, there's your disc, it's all shiny. And a 15 in Ireland. But yeah, um, really good film. Really, really recommend it. Fantastic film. Very, very good. Excellent to be honest, guys. Love it. Next one, The Taurus. Uh, I think it's about B. Smalls and like his life in Brooklyn, like growing up and then like. He like I don't know what this much as this is about. This is only fifty p, but yeah, I've heard this is quite a good one. Um, inside you got a load of leaflets, nice gold case as well, and there's your disc. This video is gonna go on for fucking ages. I reckon I might have to do this in parts. I'm not sure, but yeah, next one is the Kingdom with Jamie Fox. Um, I haven't seen this yet. I've heard it's good. Um, some good action in this. Basically, like he gets sent to Saudi Arabia, I think, on this mission to like kill this like nut or something. I'm not sure, really, but it's meant to be a good film. Um, she disc. So yeah, that is the Kingdom. Um, I haven't seen much of that, so I've heard it's I've heard it's a good film. So yeah, next one. Um. I actually haven't seen I've heard this is a good film. It's got Viggo Mortensen in and it's a history of violence. Um, yeah, I've not seen this one. I've heard it's good. Saw Chris Blue 007 has this as well. He has a steel book of this on Blu-ray. That's really cool. But I just picked up the DVD because it's really cheap and a 5 for 2 quid deal. 
God, I'm talking fast, but yeah, the old disc there. But yeah, um, yeah, this looks really good. Um, must be quite a violent one, so yeah, I look forward to checking that one out. Um, it's quite a mental film, apparently. Um, not completely sure what it's about, though. Um, I think. Um, let's move this along a bit. Apparently, like, his diner, like, becomes, like, under a robber, and then he saves them. And that, um, I don't know, I think that's... I do know, but I could, I'm just trying to get this update done. <laughs> but, yeah, um, born on the 4th of July, collector's edition. Tom Cruise, not seen this yet. Heard this is a really, really good one. 18 contains very strong language, strong sex and bloody violence. It's disc. Yeah, not seen that one. Heard it's a great film, though. So, I will be checking that one out. Um, let's again leave a comment on what you thought of some of these films. Next one is The Business. This is a new, like, gangster film, I think. It says, more cocaine than casino, more good guns than goodfellas, and more swearing. And Scarface, five stars, front magazine. So, this is going to be good. It's a side. It's a back. It contains a strong violence, a very strong language, 91 minutes. Side. There's your DVD there. And it's in quite good condition too, it's just got that little fingerprint on it. So, yeah, that's the business. I'm going to move these now, guys, because these are putting a shadow over them. Um, where can I put them? I'll put them up. I'll put them here for now. Alright. Alright, we've still got loads to go. Uh, Showtime with Robert De Niro and Eddie Murphy. Not seen this one, heard this is a good film. Quite a funny one. Um, side. Your disc there, some great artwork and some leaflets. But yeah, uh, my mate Finley actually said this is a good film, so yeah. Um, Robert De Niro and Eddie Murphy, this is going to be a good one. I love those two actors as well, I think they're brilliant. So yeah. Next one is Gulliver's Travels with Jack Black. I love this film, it's great. Um, it's, a, it's, like a, it's a good film, I like it a lot actually. It's one of my guilty pleasures to be honest. Um, I think it's a really, really good film. Um, some people just hate this film. Um, I don't know why. I think I think it's a good film to be honest. It come, I think it's really funny. Uh, it comes with a digital copy. Um, Gulliver's Travels disc there, which doesn't have it. Actually, have that big line with like orange and then like half artwork there. But yeah, um, that was at a car boot. So yeah, pick that one up. Great film. Next one is a really dark film. This was Big Nothing. This was really really good, but a very very dark. Um, I thought the ending is a bit creepy as well, like with that man in the car and he goes to check his boot in. Do you know what I mean? If you've seen this, you will. It's creepy, that ending, um, but a really, really good film. I didn't expect it to be this dark as well. And I actually thought this was set in England, not America, but yeah, he puts on his American accent, which I don't think is very good, but still a really good film, to be honest, guys. Um, you can hear he's like kind of slips into his British accent sometimes in it, but a really really good film. I really enjoyed it. It's really funny. Um, but yeah, very dark, but a great film. Um, so yeah. Next one I got in a package yesterday, and I haven't seen either of these yet. I haven't watched them yet. Butterfly Effect One and Two special feature, special double feature set. Um, yeah, I've not seen this these yet. It's got Ashton Kutcher and Naomi Smart in the first, and I haven't heard much about the second. I've heard the second sucks, and the third as well, but apparently the first is really good. But I'll still watch them, the second. You know, it says 15 contains strong um, language, violent sexual references, and child abuse theme. And the uh, first one runs for 150 minutes, and the second is 88. So there's the front there, and there's the back, and there's the side. Inside it's two discs, you've got your first film there and your second film. But yeah, can't wait to watch this. It's supposed to be quite a good film, so yeah, we'll be checking them out. So that's the butterfly effect. One and two double pack. Thanks for sending me that James mate as well. Um the next one I actually really like um Actually no, I haven't seen this one. No, I haven't seen this one yet. The Golden Compass, I really like this one. Uh, oh fuck. I haven't seen this one yet. Um, I've, I I really like the game. I mean, um, I didn't mean that, but yeah, um, I I like the game as well. Um, the game was really good to be honest, guys. Um, but yeah, there's the back. Open this up. Inside this disc, really nice artwork, especially for this company. Um, entertainment and video. They don't usually put shit on there actually. 
there's Janice is in Earth, which I didn't think was the greatest film. It's all right, but the new one looks really good actually. To be honest, so yeah, I want to see that. Uh, but yeah, that's the Golden Compass. Um, haven't seen all of it, um, but I uh, it, it was good actually. I really enjoyed it. It's only 50p at Carbo. <laughs> Next one, I love this film. This was great fun. Um, and it's from the director of Hitch, and it comes in a pink case, and it's the Bounty Hunter. This was 50p at Carbo. Um, I like this film a lot. It's really really good. Um, I watched this on Sky Movies once. Um, yeah, I think I recorded it and watched it. It's really funny though. And inside, if you disc, the Bounty Hunter. But yeah, um, really, really recommend this one. Great, great, great film. A little like romance comedy that one. Um, not action as well, there too. Um, the next three are the like the first three in the in the anthology. I'd say they make probably make a sick one. All oh, the first three Final Destinations. Fuck, that's falling down. Um, I'll just show you the first one. I'll just show you these, and then I'm going to go do part two because this is really big. Um, but yeah, Final Destination one. It's the side. It's the back. This one was good actually. I really like this one. It's better than the second. Um, but yeah, it's better than the third and the second to be honest. So yeah, probably the second best one to be honest. So yeah, that's Final Destination one. Number two, which I enjoyed this one, to be honest, guys, it's a good one. It's your disc, leaflet, Freddy vs. Jason. Ah, yeah, you'll see in a minute about that. Some other films as well. But yeah, really, really good. I love the trilogy, like all of the films, pretty honest. To be honest, I need to get the fourth. I have seen the fourth, the one with the car race, I think. Um, but yeah, it's a disc. Alright, the third one. I loved this one, like, until... This one was really good, but uh, that ending just fucking sucks. That's really pissed me off, that ending as well. Where you just don't see shit. You just see, like, her vision, then it, like, ends. Like, when it's starting to really happen, is like, on the train. That was just bullshit for me. But what I do like about this is you can play the feature in theatrical or you can choose their fate which is actually pretty cool. I don't know if the Blu-ray has that which it probably will. <laughs> but yeah, it's your discs. And I've got a booklet in there too. Tell you some films like Underworld, Lucky Number Slevin. I really need to get that actually. Actually that's good. Um, I haven't seen Basic Instinct. I haven't seen, I've seen She's the Man. I haven't seen The Mistress of Spices though. I haven't seen Take the lead. Who's that in it? <coughs> Shut up, Rocky. That's my dog. Um, but yeah, um, a great film, but that ending sucks ass. But yeah. Okay, guys, that's part one. In part two, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 17, 18. 18 more titles including 15 DVDs and 3 Blu-rays so yeah thanks for watching this quick uh, part 1 and part 2 will be uploaded next alright bye